Most people are afraid of sharks, but maybe it's the sharks that should be afraid of us. This species that survived millions of years is now being mercilessly slaughtered. Why? For soup. Our Alex Mihailovich tonight on how an appetite for shark fins has become an obsession. For some people, the demise of sharks may seem like a blessing. Many fear the predator that has been portrayed as a man-eater by the media, from big screen blockbusters like Jaws to the nightly news. Three people were hurt Saturday in another shark attack. Let's bring things into perspective. The fact is every year there's more than six billion people swimming in areas where sharks hunt, and 60 to 90 people bitten by sharks with an average of five fatalities every year. That makes sharks one of the least harmful large predators the planet has. It is a creature that has existed for 450 million years. One of the Earth's great predators, it has survived five mass extinctions and for centuries has brought fear into the hearts of man. I needed to know why people were killing sharks and what I could do to stop it. This is Rob Stewart, the director of Shark Water, an award-winning documentary film about the plight of sharks. But they were gone. In places where I'd always found hundreds of sharks, I only found a few. Shark populations had been decimated all over the world, and the last sharks were being hunted down in the few remaining sanctuaries. Nobody noticed. We need to be thinking that we're actually destroying the Earth's ability to carry humans. And with 6.7, almost 7 billion people on the planet, we simply can't be destroying the systems that we depend on for survival. The shark is the top predator in our ocean's ecosystems. Like many scientists, Stewart believes without this ancient creature, life on Earth as we know it will fall out of balance. Rick Winterbottom, a curator at the Royal Ontario Museum and a marine biologist, is one of those experts who share this point of view. We have seen other ecosystems totally collapse because man has exploited them. It's not only just an issue of 100 million sharks being killed a year, it's an issue of what happens to the ecological balances, and they tend to be all negative. A potential global catastrophe because 100 million sharks are killed each year. Wait until you hear why. This is shark's fin soup, a specialty enjoyed by the Chinese elite for hundreds of years. Shark fin soup is a symbol of wealth and served as a sign of respect. The soup has been around for centuries, but only in the last two decades has it boomed in popularity. China's economy has been on the rise for the past couple of decades, and the once exclusive shark's fin soup has become accessible to millions. It has very little to do with taste, and cartilage does not contain much nutrient, certainly not for us. So I think it's a luxury, it's a fad, um, and I don't think it's a viable source of, of energy for a human being. In fact, shark's fin is tasteless. The soup uses beef, pork, or chicken broth for flavoring. The fin is there for texture alone. And if you think China's the only problem, think again. You don't need to look further than your own backyard. Besides the many restaurants that serve shark's fin soup, there are stores like this one's in Vancouver's Chinatown that have the dried variety, which they make into shark's fin soup eventually. If you look behind me right there, there are three massive shark fins. They go for about $200 a pound. With these kind of prices, the international shark fin industry is worth billions. And if that doesn't shock you, the cruelty and wastefulness of the industry will. Rob Stewart's movie Sharkwater documented how tens of millions of sharks are killed every year for these. In many cases, they're finned alive. Sharks, once they're finned, can take up to a day to die. Uh, without fins, they bleed to death and they often can't swim, they can't force water over their gills to breathe. It's usually a pretty slow and painful death. And if that's not horrible enough, the waste that goes along with the shark fin industry is unimaginable to most of us. Most of those sharks are wasted. Just cutting off the fins and throwing the rest of the body back, wasting 95 plus percent of the animal 
contributing to humans wasting 54 billion pounds of fish as bycatch, while 10 to 20 million people die of starvation every year. You wouldn't go for a run next to a pride of lions, but we do this with sharks all the time. There are millions of people entering the water every year in areas where sharks hunt, and very few people are bitten. If they wanted to eat us, they would. Since the release of Rob Stewart's shark water, some world governments have begun to take action against shark finning. Canada is not one of them. There's a few countries that have banned the finning of sharks, but none of the countries have banned the importation or the sale of shark fins. My dealings with Canadian politicians in the past, they've told me that you know this is going to become a serious issue of theirs, and I've, I've seen no action. While shark fins remain on many restaurant menus, Stewart believes this will change with awareness of the issue, and that shark fins will lose their allure. If not for the survival of the shark, then for the benefit of mankind. Sharks have lived in balance with the oceans as the top predator. Now, we are the top predator, deciding which species we'll use and which we will destroy.